To me, they're rock machines. I mean, Malcolm Young, you know, that's, it's, they're super aggressive sounding, I, in my opinion. I remember seeing Billy Zoom from X when I was a kid and just being absolutely floored by how heavy his guitars were, yet how clear and well-defined. Same with Billy Duffy. It, he always had such a great rhythm sound. It sounded so big and full and present with incredible note definition. And that's what I find really appealing about these. And it works perfectly for me, especially in the Guns N' Roses scenario where I'm using sort of a lower gain amp Slash has more of a higher gain amp, and he's playing less Pauls, and this seems to really balance that nicely. And it adds a lot of low end and top end. There's a lot of brightness and uh, chime to the guitar and definition, but still really heavy. And I I'm, had not had any issues with feedback or anything like that, and it's been, been great. They're incredibly powerful, but they, they cut through a mix really well. And like I said, the way they frame other guitar tones is really cool. I play most of the set with this white one. To me, it has a brighter sound, a little bit of a brighter tone, whereas the black one is just a darker instrument, which lends itself to certain songs. I probably play the majority of the show on this guitar. The pin bridge is huge for me, very important. Also, the string through Bigsby is very cool. Um, the locking tuners stays in tune incredibly well. That's something that I've always had issues with with my older grutches and touring. Doesn't work out so well generally because I, I use the Bigsby a lot and I've had no issues on this tour. It's been fantastic. I'm very excited about it. <laughs> I've actually broken my thumb on some of my older, uh, I think on my Tennessee and my 66. Like I said, I used to play that live and uh, rather aggressively. I used to smash the knuckle right here on the switches. I have done that consistently over the years, so I started moving the switches whenever I play guitar with a switch up here. And I generally move it down here and then switch this over to be a master volume and a master tone. In this case, my master volume is right here. And that controls both pickups. And yeah, I, I love having my volume right there. It's a really cool feature that's specific to Gretsch's. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much, I haven't done much else to this. <laughs> mm -hmm. 